Welcome to the High Tech Investments News Report for Week 24. The news report covers some of the many investments projects High Tech Investments is currently involved in so you can follow our progress. We hope you will enjoy this news feed and look forward to your comments and remarks. Hi, Bo here, and welcome back to this week's news report that has some sad news. We have one of our EAs. It hasn't blown up, but definitely it took a bit of a loss this particular week here, so very unexpectedly. We're going to have a closer look at exactly which EA we are talking about, because we have plenty of trading going on at the moment, and actually most of it is very, very positive. So you're just going to have to wait and see which one this one is. So please watch this news report all the way to the end. But we are also coming up to a couple of interesting points for some of our uh, crypto platforms here. Uh, Yilnos again has uh, released a video this particular week and Trillion has been very, very silent. We are going to have to see also exactly what they had to say this week, because also here we have a certain deadline coming up. We still don't know exactly what's going to happen. Let's get started on all of this so I can give you the best information possible. And as always, we are getting close here now. Quarterly profit with yield notes, 5%. Yes, again, you're not getting that one paid out, but hopefully you will see it in your account. So on the 1st or 2nd of July. And also Steve here is uh, in a new video, basically uh, talking about together with uh, Liam. So where they're going through uh, his uh, YouTube and Facebook channel here of what exactly is to come. Now, when we break down the video itself, there doesn't seem to be too much actually happening other than the NFTs that they are currently working on. Steve mentioned in that particular video here that things were to come and things were pretty much uh, settled in. But that seems to be uh, a bit different here now because everybody who is part of Yieldnos actually got an email and it looks like this. So let me just read it for you here first. It says, Dear Valued Yield Notes Community, we are pleased to announce that the release of our latest video update, which provides an overview of our current operation. Please follow this link to view the video. We'll make sure also to keep the link in the description below for you. However, we would like to provide a slight amendment to the information presented in the video. The status of the NFT setup as referenced by Steve is currently in negotiation phase. Hence, any statement made regarding it should be considered preliminary assumptions. We are working diligently to finalize the NFT details and we anticipate its completion by the end of this month. And he goes on here, it says, as we continue to advance, we encourage your participation by signing up and pledging assets at the Decenemy Asset Provider, basically the companies that you can uh, set up and link together with Yield Notes and Yield Notes Pro. Uh, your contributions are crucial in fostering our growth as we prepare for relaunch by acquiring a significant number of partners. We can aim to elevate the value of our coins, generating larger profit for all members of our community. Increasing our assets base can boost the coin values across uh, our partners, this enemy, thereby providing significant benefits to yield notes participants. This strategy aligns with our roadmap targeting realization by the end of 2023 or in the first quarter of 2024. We encourage you to view our video to gain insights into our ongoing backstage development. That is basically what this video was a bit about, but there is not really anything concrete. This video pretty much says everything. So a bit disappointing that the NFT is not here, but on the other hand, from our side, it doesn't really matter too much. We are more interested in things coming fully back. Uh, we're not even sure what we're going to do with the NFT other than we can say, yes, it is there. Yes, it's going to be implemented as part of the platform. But at the end of the day, I don't think we can sell this one anyway. And we are committed so far with yield notes until something else comes out that will prove uh, us to be wrong. Now let's get started and let's have a look at the uh, coins overall last week. Sap and Sapphire coin here was doing quite well. We actually moved forward about 16% from the previous weeks. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going the other way again. Return on investment for the Sapphire coin uh, was basically 59% last week. Now it's up to 62 on the return on investment per year. And again, we are talking about an average here for the iHost MM website. Shared master noting, we have made roughly around 3%, which is quite normal. So on the SAP coin here, overall coin development, as you can see, we lost about 13% this particular week. 
So we are down again by minus 80 last week. Uh, as I said, we were at 60, 64, and the week before we was actually at minus 83. So it is still better than the last couple of weeks, but uh, far from optimum. And the graph looks something like this. As I said, it has been in decline for the last many weeks. It had a bit of a spike last week, but uh, now it looks like everything is back to normal. Back to normal is also PNY. That never really moves much and hasn't really moved in weeks and months here now, return on the investment. So at the moment was uh, 50% last week. So that means now it's up to 56. And that obviously means that we have more coins at the end of the day, the shared master noting, pretty much up by 10% for the week. So that is good news. The bad news is obviously that the overall coin development is pretty much status quo compared to what it was last week. And the graph pretty much shows it again. As I always say, flat as a pancake, no real movement and uh, no real movement, I think, until uh, in about five or six months where we hopefully can see some good information coming out of yield notes, a bit more confirmed dates and exactly what's going to happen. Byrec has also been uh, the most positive part of these, but again, this one here is also going a bit backwards at the moment. Return on the investment is pretty much status quo. It was 127% last week. Now it's down to 126, so pretty much the same. Shared master noting is up by quite a bit, 10%. So that is also pretty good, 9.5%, 10% here. But overall coin development, again, is uh, sliding backwards and we have lost another 14%. So at the moment we are down by uh, minus 37.57. And that is definitely not the direction we wanted to go in. Graph looks like this, and as you can see, there's a clear path for a downwards movement. And uh, obviously, none of the information that are coming out of yield notes with Steve here, so it seems to indicate that the people are being optimistic. Let's have a look and see if Bitcoin is more optimistic. And uh, unfortunately, that one has not been uh, going in the right direction either. We actually had two drops in this particular week. So first. On the uh, weekend here uh, with a bit of a drop where it was starting to trade sideways then it dropped and then again for the next couple of days after the weekend here it was basically another sideways trading another dump and at the moment again sideways trading just around the uh, $25,000 mark at the moment and uh, we'll have to see if it's going to continue uh, that direction. If we have a look at the BNB versus US dollar, it is not exactly the same as we saw on the crypto parts, but also here there is a decline. We left it at $260 last week. It also at the first uh, bottom out uh, dropped all the way down to about 235. And then after that, it has been trading sideways. And then through the week, it looked like it was actually picking up a bit on the price. And that means that the last little slowdown it had in price here still makes it uh, pretty positive compared to what you saw happen on the Bitcoin uh, graph. Now, when we talk about Bitcoins and when we are talking about crypto coins in total, you should never keep them actually on the, any crypto exchanges, only if you want to exchange it into fiat money, if you want to change it into other crypto, you should get yourself a cold wallet, hard wallet, whatever you want to call it here. And Ledger is currently having a bit of a sale, so with 30% off. That one is only valid until the 20th of June, but you do have a chance of getting in. And some of these are actually quite cheap. They are around $79. So depending on what model exactly you want, and you can also get some different packages. That is definitely one way to go by it. What you have to do is uh, you can use our uh, links below in the video description and then also use uh, color 30 at checkout. So in order to make sure that you get your 30% off, as I said, this will expire by next week. So you still have a few days to get this done. And if you are a bit unsure how all this works, if it's very, very technical, we have broken this one down in a tutorial we made last year, basically, and showing you everything from unpacking to installing and also to transferring. So it should be pretty easy for you, I hope. Most of the people that have seen this tutorial here says that pretty much covers everything that you need to know. And also a lot of the transactions seems to go a lot faster than if you go from exchange to exchange. 
So definitely something to consider when you're talking about crypto safety. Now let's go to our new poll. And uh, we asked this particular week, what do you consider a good monthly profit? And we get a lot of responses again this week. And they were actually not that surprising. So one to 5%, uh, basically only 4% meant that. 45% said, well, we will happy with the 5 to 10%. And 33% said, well, we would like to have somewhere around 10 to 20%, which is most probably also where I believed already we would be, especially when we're talking about the profit retriever that we started off. If we talk about the money tree and a lot of the other ones, they are balancing somewhere around the 8 to 12% mark. And obviously some are a bit better at some times and then they go back and maybe only make about 5%. Again, we have a big gap in the 20 to 30% here, only four. And then we seem to have a few high rollers in there, 14% that would like to get more than 30% a month. And obviously I'm not sure if this is real or just for the fun of the uh, poll itself. But definitely it shows that up to 78% is pretty much on par with what we also believe and also what the most of the EAs that we are trading is providing. Now, if we go over to uh, Trillint and there's not really much information coming out of them this particular week here, they continue to talk a lot about the KYC. And they write here, we have recently noticed that several KYC application has been rejected because of the data in the Trillion account does not match the submitted KYC data. Therefore, it is of utmost importance that all data in your Trillion account, including all first and middle names, are entered exactly as they appear in your identification documents. Make sure that all existing names are correct and complete. Now, we have also gone through this one here, and uh, that didn't take us very long but obviously it seems to be a continuous big issue. Also, they write here, we have noticed that some addresses in the account still need to be updated. It is critical that your current address is correct in your account and matches the address in your KYC document. Careful data entry and updating can help avoid delays and rejection in the KYC, KYB process, which is no your business, the other part for the Trilando itself. Obviously, this is quite important. And that is pretty much the only news that came out of Trillion Platform this particular week here. So which is a bit disappointing because, again, <clears throat> Trillion is all about the staking in here. And obviously, you have short and long term staking, depending on also uh, the weeks. You can see the individual yield that you are getting and you are getting them out in stable coins. And the last word from uh, the CEO, Eric, here was that this was not coming out in the first quarter, so it was delayed. Now the target was the second quarter of 2023, and we only have about two weeks left to go, so uh, as we are shooting this particular video here. So it is very disappointing still not to have heard anything new, because definitely they would know by now if they can actually meet that deadline. Now, we don't really have much confidence at the moment in what is happening behind the trillion part because it seems like a lot of deflections and not really real good information. But I do not believe that uh, the uh, stablecoin is going to be released before the end of this particular month here. But that is only my experience and my feeling overall with all the information that are coming out on the individual platforms. People are trying to downplay uh, the uh, timeline here so saying you know that is not really uh, an option but uh, for a lot of people it is obviously there is no more tree to buy on the platform itself you have to go to the two exchanges we're going to have a look at here now but also only the coin price will go up if the members have a lot of confidence in the platform they are trading with and maybe even if we get some uh, stable coins out here, we might want to go back and buy some more coins and that will then again raise the price and basically also improve the overall uh, profitability here for the individual platforms and for the people are holding the coins, but not really something that seems uh, too pertinent for the individuals at the Trillion. So let's have a look and just see how the coins are doing at the moment. So this is the tree versus the USDT. And again, we are looking at the XT.com exchange, one of the two we have in here. We can see where we left it last week. It has been 
pretty much sideways with uh, with a small uh, decline here as we can see point triple zero four six eight one and now it's basically down to point triple zero three nine nine four it has uh, gone pretty much sideways all the way through it did a big dip here with the big uh, dump of coins again here 600 or 568 uh, million in here so quite a lot but the coin price basically was pretty stable and as you can see it has increased slightly in the last couple of days we will have to see if that's going to continue or not if we look at the coin store uh, you can see a bit more of a movement overall last time we left it here also at 0 0.0048.05 and then pretty much traded sideways with only small declines all the way through the week and then we had the drop on the same days here on the 14th and again this was only 78 million in here of volume overall and also here we can see slight improvement or in the coin value but only very very slight in the last couple of days now if we move over to the money tree so there's been a lot of talk and debates about the money tree this particular week here and as you can see in week 23 which is actually uh, the last week that we mentioned here we had a low risk accounts where once again it hit the uh, stop loss or basically the maximum drawdown for all open trades and that actually meant that uh, it went into another loss of $1,501 here or basically dropped about 17%. Now the medium risk and the high risk uh, they weren't affected they were not trading the same currency pairs uh, don't forget the low risk one is doing 18 pairs the medium and high risk is only doing 10 and hopefully the 10 best that we have selected in here but as you can see uh, it is a very low uh, profit coming in and that also meant that it was actually only one trade uh, taken care of each of these two accounts now we also decided to put the money tree on because we had a lot of requests from people saying could you please put the money tree on we want to try and trade this we want to see exactly how what happens so we did already talk to alex last week and trying to set this particular one up and we just joined with the medium and the high risk accounts and then we did a bit of a video on what you have to be aware of how you have to trade it start off with demo account start with low uh, not one-to-one -one lot factors just to see how it works check it out with your broker and etc and obviously uh, a lot of people didn't do any of it at all so obviously uh, a, a bit of a bad start and the bad start here actually also came that the first trades that uh, it started off here with the copy link service ended up in a loss and that actually meant that the high risk account in here so uh, basically hit also the drawdown or the uh, equity limit that we had set in here to make sure that we don't risk too much and you can see we lost about $1,368 and compared to what we had gained in the last couple of weeks um, that is basically uh, almost back to where we started which is obviously not very nice but we haven't lost the full account and we have a lot of confidence still that these accounts and these currencies here they will work over time obviously uh, we will have to see in the future but all this is based on information both from our own trading in the past and also on the developers now the medium uh, account did not incur a hit so that one still works quite well it is set up differently obviously again because it's a medium risk and that means that we might have the settings correct uh, but we will have to see and obviously they will be adjusted from time to time and all of this and more um, basically you can find in our videos where we are finding how it's trading because we got a lot of emails we got a lot of concerned people saying you know how does this trade how does that work and uh, even though we try to send people the links to our youtube channel they seem to want to have everything explained in one or two sentences here and it simply can't be done because it is a black box EA but there is a lot more to it and uh, as most people know you have to see different aspects of this particular EA to understand exactly how it trades and many of these videos that we have on the screen here right now basically shows you how it's done and also why we have a high winning rate and why we only 
trade with 10 currencies instead of the 18 that the developers does. So definitely something to watch if you want to know more about the money tree. Let's go over to the Profit Retriever. So Profit Retriever is tracking quite well at the moment. Last week was a very nice and high week. Here we are back to a bit more of what I would call normal. Euro AUD $562 or 5.6%. Aussie Japanese, which seems to be always up there these days, $472 or 4.7%. Aussie USD, again, doing quite well, $421 or 4.2%. Then we have the gold, $402 or 4%. That has been very stable for the last many weeks here. Then the FTSE just jumped in here with $324 or 3.2%. Overall, if you would have traded those top fives for the week, you would have made $2,181 or 4.4%. And that is pretty much average from what we have seen in the last many weeks and months. Now, the portfolio itself is getting quite old. As you can see, 455 days, it is continuing to do quite well. Monthly returns, as it says here, is around 10% and weekly return 2.4%. You have to remember again that we are actually not increasing our lot size, even though we are uh, getting a lot of profits in week on week because all of them are linked to the copy link service so we have to keep the uh, lot size exactly the same but as you can see we are still doing quite well and uh, right now we are in the middle of the month of june here we are up by eleven thousand dollars so far and it's looking good to hit somewhere around where we were last month around the twenty thousand dollar mark and that is definitely an approved results if we can get there now you can obviously find out a lot more on the top 10 results in this particular one on the top five results also and more evenly the last four weeks which means that stable results that are coming in the uh, currency pairs that are basically tracking well and making a profit week by week and that is what this weekly review is all about here there's a lot of people that are using that to figure out what signals they should trade Obviously, you should not uh, basically adjust them every single day or every single week. The, you have to look at, at a bigger perspective here in order to make sure that you are not throwing away too much money at the end of the day. Go for the ones that seems extremely stable. And also at the same time, if they are stable and making profit, they have low drawdown. You can obviously find a lot more about that as usual on our website. We are always updating these things, both with postings and with videos. And the Profit Retriever trading is if you want to start on your own, there will be a lot of information. There will be a lot of FX Blue sites. You can go in and have a look to see how we trade it. If you think all this is too complicated, then you basically head over to the copy link trading instead. And then you can go in and see how you can actually join Expert Forex and set up some signals in there with them. As always, again, we advise you, start off with demo accounts, figure out if this works also with your broker. You cannot test every single broker that is out there. Some might be good, some might be not so good, and especially when it comes to cent account, if you wanna start with that. Now, again, we have our spaghetti trader, and we need to make a few more videos on that here for sure. We are battling with this one at the moment. So this is a free EA within the expert uh, Forex premium forum here. The 15 minute one, we had a bit of a loss this week of $143 or 1.6%. The one hour one, which looks like it was the most stable one overall, uh, lost $1,123 or 11.3%. 11 and then the four hour one uh, that also showed good potential did actually make a bit of profit, $144 or 1.6%. But we are a bit in doubt of exactly how everything is working. We have changed some settings again here in the last week. And the difficult one, as you can see, is the 15 minute chart. It has been going downwards all the way through. The red marker is after we have now again uh, made some changes. So this was actually done last week. And also here, the one hour one is pretty much where um, we were last week. And the last one is the four hour one. It looked like it was going in the right direction. But again, we are very, very close to last week's results overall. But it's a good, at least, idea here now to see that we might not have the big uh, drawdowns. We might not have the big losses. But still, we are trying to figure out if this one can actually make a profit but we definitely need more time uh, looking at these results. 
You can obviously also find more about this on the uh, Spaghetti Trader website here. And this is actually, again, our website where we are tracking it with FX Blue, 15 minute, one hour and four hour once in here. We did log in here this particular morning and it looks like FX Blue is not tracking it at the moment. So we'll have to sort that one out in case you uh, also see this. Um, I'm not exactly sure why all three accounts all of a sudden would have a um, issue so on the FX Blue side, but we will try and sort this out. The new one is our Trade Explorer. So this was our mystery robot we were talking about here. We have made a new uh, basically video for this on how you can buy this one because there is a bit of a discount for it. So at least for another couple of days. Also how to install and set it up. There is a few more details and things in here also because there's a lot of different set files. So we try and break this down for you in an easy way. And uh, hopefully everybody would like this particular video here. So if you are into the Trade Explorer, if you want to try it out, then there's definitely an opportunity both to get it cheaper and also you get some help from us here. So to figure out exactly how this has to be set up. The Trade Explorer did quite well. And uh, again, we see the 22 pairs that is being traded in there did $836 or 8.4%. And then the 10 pairs, which is a bit more supposed to be conservative here, with lower drawdowns, only made 336 or 3.4%. Definitely, we are quite happy with this at the moment. But again, this is still early days. We need to see exactly how this develops and we have to see exactly how big of a drawdowns they are coming in. We uh, can see that there is some drawdowns again at the moment on these particular uh, trading EAs. So um, we'll have to keep a close eye on it to make sure that uh, nothing crash or burns here. You can obviously find again a lot more details on the Trade Explorer. We already have more than four weeks on our website. And we also have the two videos here. The one where we're introducing the mystery robot, which is one and the same here and now the buy, install and set up Trade Explorer tutorial. If you want to also go in here, again, we have the 22 pair and 10 pair account with FX Blue. So you can go in and watch all the trades. You can go in and see exactly how it trades, the lot sizes, everything else, currency pairs that we are trading. And if you click the Leap FX uh, account in here also, this is where you can get your 10% discount up until the 18th of June. So, and you have to use the uh, promo code BOTE, you put that in and then basically you get a discount. So there's still a few days for you to uh, manage this one. Alex and Expert Forex has also been busy with a couple of videos this week. So this one here is basically trying to find the best Forex brokers and VIP service. And he's uh, basically guiding you to a couple of websites where you can find more information about all this. And the second one here is to become a millionaire and confident prop trader. And we are talking about the link to success. This is also here where he's actually talking a bit about introducing the money tree onto the copy link service, which has been, as we said, uh, a bit an up and down. The uh, medium account is doing OK. It's actually done a bit of money here, but the high risk account has already uh, taken a bit of a hit. Hopefully it will uh, manage to catch up most of it again, either by the end of this month or beginning of the next one. We'll have to wait and see. The last but not least also, there is another video also here from Alex, how he tripled his account using the copy link service. And again, he goes back and uh, basically talks about one of the traders that has had some very good profits uh, copying up with this and uh, basically are back in a big plus. So from he, basically traded other EAs in the past. So definitely something to watch here also. And that's what we have for you in this week's news report. We hope you enjoyed it. Please always give us a comment, a like, see what else uh, is coming in the future. And uh, I hope to see you next week again. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed our news report. So please don't forget to like and add your comment below as we would love to get your feedback. But before you go, Make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to keep the notification bell turned on. That way, you will never miss any of our future videos. We hope to see you back on this channel very soon.